One of the primary ways that we establish our identity online is through a process called authentication. Authentication serves a couple of different purposes. It's not just so that we can establish our identity. It's also used frequently to protect access to resources. So a particular site requires me to log in to make sure that only I can do certain things or only people with my roles on that particular site can do certain things. Um, but in, in a lot of cases, the process of logging in and authenticating ourselves is a way of establishing an identity in a way that is stable across multiple machines. So keep in mind, my IP address is not my identity. That changes a lot. So I can't use that. Um, uh, I might access you know, other information about the computer I'm using, even if I could uniquely identify my computer somehow. It's also not an identity because I might use multiple computers. So how do I establish for, you know, for example, an online mail service, how do I establish an identity? I do that through the process of authentication. So authentication takes a lot of forms. Probably the most common way that you authenticate is through a username and password combination. You guys have done this all the time. Um, so here's an example. Uh, this, the, the website that we use for this class, internetclass.org, does not use um, your, your identity for any sort of access control. Uh, it uses that to identify you so that it can figure out things like what videos have you watched, what videos should you watch next, and things like that. So, you know, you guys have, I can't believe I'm actually showing you this because I'm sure you've done this before. Um, you know, we're using an authentication service called Auth0, um, and somehow it managed to forget my password in that um, brief period of time. So I'm gonna copy my password, paste it in here, and now when I log in, now the site knows who I am. So there's no way for me to render this particular page where, for example, I show you what the next uh, video is that you're supposed to watch. You can see I'm pretty behind on mine. Um, there's no way to render this next page without knowing who I am. So that process is something that um, the process of authentication is frequently used to establish an identity. What does that mean? Um, what it means, or what the process of authentication relies on, is the fact that I know something, um, and no one else knows that thing. So I identify myself, I link my identity to a particular piece of information that nobody else is supposed to have. In this case, that piece of information is a password. The site verifies that password, and then it uses that to establish the fact that I'm actually me. And this is a nice way to do it because I can do it from any machine, so it's not tied to my IP address. Um, I can do it from the same machine even if my IP address moves. Um, and so this is a very, very common way for us to establish our identities online. So if you think about it, who are you to Gmail and who are you to Amazon.com? You are a combination of a username and password. And that's how they, st that's the, sort of the way that they identify you so they can retrieve other information about you.